off-roading. That's where it's at. Anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. Half past 719. So, uh, on these Audis and Volkswagens, they got these stupid little things. I think there's a tool for this to pull these off. Um, I just use a little screwdriver and just walk it off very, very easily without damaging the wheel. So, I don't know. So, I'm just going to try one wheel. If it fits, I'll do all four. Then I'll go for a drive. See how it drives. I need to get fuel in this thing anyway. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. I don't think it's going to fit. I think I'm going to have to get uh, some type of spacer. But you never know. So, probably about 900,000 degrees outside. Got the speaker box in the way. Let me get my run chugga ugga ugga. Oops. And a socket. I can't remember what size it is. It's like 19 or something. Yep, 19 will work. Alright. Let me just zip some of these doodahs off. And uh, go from there. So as you can see, these wheels are a little bit curb rashed. Nothing crazy. Um, but I do want to keep these wheels obviously as stocks. So I'm just gonna zip all these off. Let me let me take this off. I'm gonna take all these lug studs off first and then I'll do the last one otherwise the wheel will fall and prove me a liar typical so oh boy. Let's, uh, uh, let me go grab a wheel and We'll compare these two wheels side by side. I'm going to see if it'll fit first, then I'll compare them. I'll be back. Alright guys, here's a side by side. This is how much wider this stock wheel is. It's how much taller this tire is. <clears throat> so it is an 18 inch wheel. With a lot more meat. A lot more tire. Let me try to get this thing spun around. Ooh. So, as you can see, I think you can see maybe if I get it straight. Anyway, there we go. Doesn't look because it's an 18 inch, doesn't look. The 21s don't look that much bigger. So, and they have a really decent tread. These have a lot of meat left. These definitely have a lot of meat left. So, let's see what it looks like on. <clears throat> Doesn't look all that bad. I mean, it looks like a, one of those ugly old Mercedes. Tire does need air in it. But it does clear the brakes. Clears the brakes, clears everything. Um, it's hard to tell with spinning it because it's all-wheel drive. The wheel only wants to do this number, which doesn't hit anything. It's not hitting anything up here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the other side and uh, do the rears. Go for a drive. So, um, yeah, it's really hot out here. So I'll be back. We'll... Uh, Maybe I'll take the camera out, go for a drive, and we'll do a little walk around away from other cars and stuff. So, I'll be back. Alright guys. Just a little look-see. Of what an Audi looks like. 
with Mercedes G-Wagon wheels and tires. Let's see if I can't come back here. And you can see, sorry for the wind, it's going to be windy. So, man, it's really windy. What we have here is I'll go into the garage and explain it what's going on as you can see all right so there's all my stock wheels and tires all right what we got going on is getting a vibration at about 50 something miles an hour roughly 55 um, and I'm thinking it's because the uh, there's no hub centric adapter so this right in here this hub diameter 76.1 millimeters and on those wheels it is a 84.1 millimeter so we're missing about a 12, maybe 18, 18 millimeter difference, eh, maybe not 18, 76, 84 is 8, 8 millimeter. So we got about an 8 millimeter uh, difference, so 4 millimeter of play up and down. So, I'm going to have to stick these wheels on, back on. Um, I ordered some, uh, so 84.1 millimeter to 80, 76, 84.1 millimeter outside diameter to 76.1 millimeter inside diameter. I ordered some uh, hub centric hub adapters, whatever you want to call them. And uh, what I'll do is I'll wait till they come in. Um, I'll stick these wheels and tires back on. Go to work. Come home. Hopefully I'll have those. Probably have the wife follow me. Take the wheels and tires and the truck. And those somewhere. Maybe I'll go get these. I don't know what I'm going to do. When I get back, I'll probably just have these take these wheels and tires, get them balanced and uh, throw those little hub centric spacers, whatever you want to call them on their adapters and go from there but overall uh, they do fit, they do clear the brake calipers which is good um, I think they clear them a lot more than these wheels do and I got this annoying bird squawking stupid thing anyway um so yeah so what I'll do is you can see I got plenty of room between the caliper plenty of room up here in the caliper so I'll take these off maybe I'll uh, paint them um, but uh, yeah I'll probably do it this evening it's uh, almost three o'clock it's still hot out, um, but uh, yeah, just wanted to come out and check the torque to see maybe if uh, some of the wheels weren't torqued as much because I just zipped them on with the impact, um, but that's not the case. Um, I don't think any of the wheels are bent, which is why I'll go have them uh, balanced, tires and wheels balanced, see and uh, go from there. So. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment. Um, I don't like the look. You guys tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say to keep these on there, but when I drove this, it was such a smoother drive. Like going over bumps, it was just... Whereas going over bumps with these tires, it's like a basketball. Bam, bam, bam. So, anyway. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Later.